Do I believe in vision boards? So, especially after my last manifestation video, this is a comment I've been getting a lot. And I think my answer is going to surprise you because it's both yes and no. What I do believe in is actually having a vision for the future, especially if you don't like where your life is now. And for me, a big part of reinventing myself has been always having a vision for the future. So in this video, I want to share a little bit about what I do as far as vision boarding goes. What's up guys, Alex Hine here, author of the book Master the Day. So the number one thing here that I see is that a vision board just serves as a direction for your life to go in. You know, nobody is 100 pounds overweight and then has no intention to lose weight whatsoever and then magically loses 100 pounds. The fact is, if you have, I want to lose 30 pounds written on the wall every day, like of course you're going to do some of the habits and the rituals that will help you lose that weight. And to me, this is the biggest benefit of actually having a vision board. So whether it is like you're trying to attract a certain person or a certain job or life circumstance, the whole point is that direction of focus. So I want to walk through my own that I keep inside Evernote and maybe give you some ideas. So the first thing I had written down here is it's always in this document called Future Vision Updated because I am always updating it. And the first thing you see here is I photoshopped my book title, Master of the Day, into Amazon with 314 reviews. It's pretty cool because that was only maybe like two years ago and I'm more than half the way there. To me, the number of reviews doesn't really matter, but if I see a book and it has 300 reviews, I know it's probably good or it's a big deal. These are the bunch of the social relationships that I wanna have. So I put Turk and JD from uh, Scrubs and I put down the Big Bang Theory cast because to me, one of the aspects of my life I was always lacking in was my social life. So I put down, I wanna have more of these experiences in my life. This says escapes, bachelor pads, work spots, and generous places I offer to friends and family. One's a place in Costa Rica, you can see here. And then another one is here in Paris. And then I put down this little picture of a cute little coffee shop in the countryside because that's just something that resonates and I'm sure it will eventually happen. From there, the, the big thing for me, like I'm a very work-centered or work-focused person, but I put down, uh, my character, who I want to be and who I want to be remembered for. The person in the top left here is a famous Chinese physician named Zhang Zhongjing. The top right, this is Merlin, because I always felt like maybe in a past life I was some kind of physician, shaman, sage, herbalist, or something. But those were that was my early childhood calling since I was a kid. This is a picture of druids doing a little ceremony in the woods, and then Archimedes in his personal study. And I have two things down here. One is the founder of homeopathy, Samuel Hahnemann. Um, I don't know anything about homeopathy, to be honest, but the story of him being the most famous physician in Europe because of how good he was, where long lines of carriages, many bearing royal coats of arms, would line up outside his house in Paris, often waiting up to three hours. And then most of the paying patients would be seen by four in the afternoon. And then in the evening, he would see the poor patients for free or the bedridden ones after 6 p.m. And that to me is very much who I want to become more than anything. And then I have here Jiro Dreams of Sushi. And Jiro is just a signifier for perfectionism and just taking your craft so seriously. I have pictures here of the fitness level I want to be in. And this is just, for me, a lifelong skinny person, how I want to actually look in clothes, aka fill them up. And then my home. So... The most important thing here for me is the feeling. And the feeling here obviously is tons of sunlight, tons of natural light, and wide open. And this one is actually from a possible area I thought about living in. But to me, the point is just to fill your, this vision with basically what speaks to you the most. This might even be a celebrity home here. The countryside, wide open living areas, New England. New England, all New England. And then the last thing for me that I've put down here is my home library or Chinese medicine library. So kind of like your private study where I would do medical experiments, study herbs, try things out. Um, my own little archive of all these books. I think it'd be pretty cool if I were good enough and successful enough that I became one of those huge donors of like 
millions of dollars worth of ancient scrolls to Yale or Harvard when I die. But to me, this is just a big thing that I want to create in my life. And one of the other things, obviously, I haven't mentioned here, I haven't mentioned uh, like dating or partners or family. And for me, only because at the start, those were things that were way off of my trajectory. They were not, you know, five-year goals. And all of these, maybe besides the big house, all really are goals in the next few years besides my legacy and who I'm remembered for. So for me, the third part here is just that you have this vision compiled in some way, and then you somehow review it daily. Now I've mixed it with my morning and my evening routine, where I would just flip through these things and visualize them in my head as if they had already occurred, and I would just go through day by day, because sometimes, me, during the worst years of your life, sometimes the only thing you have is the hope that things will get better. So I would just hope by visualizing that things would get better, and then some of them eventually did. And now many of these are longer or even lifetime goals. And they just serve as intentions for who I want to be and what I want to do. All right, guys. So I hope that helps. Before you go, comment there below. Let me know for you, what does your vision board look like, if you want to call it that? Or what do you want to put down as far as visions go? Now, the best way to stay in touch is to grab my free seven-day personal development and weight loss challenge, modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube. So the link is also in the description box there below. And also, if you see that new sponsor tab, that's because I'm now doing a monthly live Q&A. You also get free access to my private paid Facebook group and my beginner 21-day challenge. It's like $4.99 a month or something. So you can check that out there as well. And you can check out my last two videos right here and right here.